Hello YouTube, what is up? I'm Emily. I'm Levi. There's Adelaide and Grayson back there. Say hi guys. Hi, but I'm all done. Okay. We are getting out of the house this afternoon. It's hot, 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 so it's a really good day for this. Headed down to the lake. And we are taking our canoe. We just realized that moving to Hawaii is making us it's forcing us to do all the things that we're like, oh, we need to go do this. Yeah, he's been saying we're gonna go canoeing for years. It's been hanging up in our garage for years. So hard to actually make that stuff happen. But until... once, once you only have three weeks to go before you can no longer live here, like, you gotta make it happen. Yeah, so make it happen. it's kind of a cool side effect that moving to Hawaii is doing to us. We're finishing up all these things we wanted to do in Arizona. It's forcing us to. Where are we going? Uh, Swire Lake. Well, where are we going right now? Oh. Um, the pool needs some chlorine, so I'm just gonna grab a couple. Oh, um, on gallons. The Yeah. Oh, okay. Throw them in the truck. So we're stopping in Lowe's first, apparently. Um. But yeah, then we're gonna go down to the lake, and it's a very nostalgic feeling for me. Going to the lake? Yeah, and I'm even like drinking Gatorade. Because we used to go there all the time, like when she first moved in with me, like yeah, nine, we used to, 10 years ago. We used to take our jet ski down. It's like the first place I told him I loved him and everything. It was, on the jet ski. On oh, the jet we, ski. We can't get rid of that jet ski. Oh snap. No we're way. considering it. Yep, we're keeping that. <laughs> <laughs> I had actually told him that I loved him on accident, I think like two times before. <laughs> the first time was after like a week because we spent because we dated when I was in high school and then I graduated and got married and we were both distracted with other people and then I got divorced and then he messaged me and was like hey because I was blogging at the time he was like hey I saw that you're going through some stuff wanted to check in and I was like what nice to see you again and he invited me on a trip up to Seattle and that was like our first date and like when we got back from Seattle, um, there's a guy coming, hold on. <laughs> okay, we left the parking lot so there's no more people watching me. Um, I was telling you about the first time I actually told you I loved you. So we had just gotten back from Seattle and literally had just spent a week together but that was like it, that was like the first time we'd seen each other in years. But I jumped on the phone the next day and left him a message and totally, totally accidentally just blurted out, I love you at the end of it. And then I was like, oh, I mean, I like you. It was so embarrassing. Oh, I loved it. I, was I know. So excited. It was I, not a bad thing. It was, I mean, it was legit like. It made my day. Love at first. Um, jump in the truck with him. <laughs> I can remember that <laughs> message so well. Oh my gosh, it was so crazy. Anyways, the jet ski was the first time I like told him and didn't like really take it back. So and I quickly reciprocated. Yes. So anyways, I'm really excited because it's a totally a nostalgic feeling drinking lemon lime Gatorade, heading down to the lake with my man, and now we get to take our babies with us and really excited. So we're gonna vlog it and yeah. And take some pretty pictures. So we're trying to find a spot to stop because the lake that we always go to is apparently... I'll pull you into this spot okay. while we're going. I'll just hike and see if there's like a path we can get it down on it. So but that might work, it looks pretty legit. It looks like a great little cove for us. Just the lake that we usually go to is closed. So <laughs> we're trying to figure out if there's a spot on the river that's slow enough that we can still walk down and take it out close a whole lake yeah <laughs> it's a big lake like they won't even let you get into like the parking lot so, so we won't be we won't be dismayed we're gonna do this i mean you can see the down there it's fast. down there up here it looks, it looks like there's a little crevice over here i don't know Oh, this little spot right there would work. Yeah, if we could get down there. Getting your water shoes on. Well, it's dark slippers. <laughs> we can find? do it. Yeah? It's actually might even be prettier than the, uh, the lake we've been. Really? It's gonna be a little bit of work, guys. 
it's gonna be kind of a kind of a tough hike. All right, we got this, right? Yeah. Ready for some adventure? We're going to hike. A little bit. We're gonna hike down the mountain hike. with the canoe. That's gonna be tough. <laughs> we got it. All right. Oh. So we're parking here. Yeah, we're parking right here. This is perfect. Got it. You look cute, sis. All right. No big deal. We just gotta get all this down that hill. We got it. What's up? Oh yeah, it's stuck in the ground there. You look so cute in your water shoes. All right, let's do this, huh? I did not Can wear the this? appropriate footwear. What do you got? Slides. First, you're gonna stay here. Okay. I'm gonna lock them down. Okay. We're not gonna have to wait for us. gonna hold you baby okay. all right buddy Whew. okay this is pretty we found we found a canoe in the water Grayson just slipped, landed head first in the water. It's, we're by a shallow area, but still it was very scary. And mama was the closest and mama dove. Got a nice, Owie, are you okay bud? Was it scary? It was scary. Yeah. Here's that's where he slipped. And then that's mama's shoe that went flying. Yep. Yeah, I'm coming. You got your shoes on, right? Your water shoes? Those are important. So that was scary. There you go. Nice work, sis. I wish I had some of your shoes. Oh, I want you, I want you. I'm gonna have to get some canes, babe. They're funny looking, but they sure are. Sis, you're paddling. What's up, Out of here doing it. Did it. Now put your, uh, set the paddle down, okay? Now put your hands up. Peace sign. I want to go back. Then you'll paddle right back. Look at me.
I mean, that was a huge fish. Maybe that wasn't the fish. Maybe that was the beaver or the otter or whatever. We think we saw an animal of some sort over here. You guys look so cute. There we go. It might be a fish or an otter. It might be one of them. Might be both. Heading upstream, guys. Don't let the otter get you. Watch There's... out for gators. <laughs> oh yeah, gators swim in water. Luckily, <laughs> we're in Arizona. It's probably like... I mean, that is a huge it's fish. It's probably like three feet long. Yeah, it's huge. How big is that? That's three like, feet is like as tall as Grayson. Yeah, it's at least as big as Grayson. There's a fish. Yeah, that's it. Oh that's my it. gosh. That's not a fish. That's a freaking animal. What is it? It's an animal. It's an otter. It's it an is. Otter. Did you get it? Yes, I got it. It looks like an otter. It oh. does. It had its cute little nose. It was sniffing around. How cute. It was adorable. <gasps> oh, it's so what cute. The Dude, there's an otter. It's so cute. Are you serious? There he is. Oh, he's so cute. We have otters? I did not know that. In the Salt River? I did not know that. Is that him right there? Where, the ripple? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's down there. Oh, he's down there. Look at his cute little nose. Oh, oh, he is. He's about as long as Grayson. I can't believe it. We are freaking out. We just saw an otter in the water. I don't know. I don't know. I can't believe it. He's hunting for something, probably like small. There he is, there he is. Look at that. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. <laughs> we were just blowing, we just sit here and chill. Yeah. Talk, make out. Yeah. What? Make out. Ooh. Hey, this worked out, huh? This worked out. Oh, no, my bad. Almost in. Oh, there he is. You're right, bud. Oh, good, good job. job. Good job. Good job. This is seriously so magical. I'm so glad we did this. I was almost oh, like, let's just go. Oh, my liar, 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 my All right, let's see if I can not Scratch up tip you guys over. Um, please don't tip us over. Is that a possibility? Ow, it's a possibility. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, we're gonna get out for a little bit. Do you want a sandwich? Mm -hmm. I brought you a sandwich. Have a quick break. I'm Eat hungry. Some food. <laughs> Did you get it? We lost the canoe. <laughs> it snuck off. It's a good thing you're a good swimmer. Oh. Let's hope that otter doesn't want to eat me. <laughs> You look so hot. <laughs> that was steep. That was really steep. But we did it. There's one kid <sighs> over the rails. He doesn't give the cactus. <sighs> one more. One more's coming. Did you have fun? Uh huh. Did you like the boat? Mom, 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 mom. More boat. You wanna do it again sometime? Uh huh. Hey. We all made it. Oh my gosh. We did it. Yeah. <sighs> Here, you can take this. Oh, is it on? Show them. Is it recording? All right, this is what we just took. We just brought the canoe up this. But I mean, it's pretty steep. Like right here is like straight down. This was, there's cactus and these rocks were sliding. But the kids stopped at certain spots and waited for us and we got the canoe down and back up. So, good job guys. This thing captures great in the light. Yeah. It's amazing. I'm really happy with it. Good morning, you guys. It is the next morning and I am sore. <laughs> and I don't know which part I'm more sore from. I don't know how much of it is sore from when I jumped on the rock to help Grayson find his footing. I don't know how much of it is sore from pulling the canoe up the encampment there or how much of it is sore from the minuscule amount of rowing I did. <laughs> um, honestly, have no idea. But um, I'm feeling it today. But I did wanna jump on and just record a little, um, I don't know, sum up, 
Um, it was a really, really fun day. I'm really glad we did it. A little dramatic at times, a little could have been bad at times. Um, it's the kind of thing right now where we're um, we're just kind of pushing our limits. We're just kind of doing stuff outside of our comfort zone kind of a thing. Um, when we got to the lake and the lake was closed, it was one of the, those things where we easily could have been like, this sucks and like kind of ruined the whole day. And instead it was just kind of like, okay, pivot on to the next idea or place or area or whatever um and we did that and it turned into a really really awesome experience i'm just kind of grateful that we're currently in this mindset of um of doing that of pushing limits of trying new things of um i don't know just getting a little bit more comfortable with being uncomfortable um because it was my kiddos are waking up it was really magical and you know the kids got to see an otter and I don't know it's just those kind of experiences that are getting me really excited for um, this whole next season of our lives you know we tentatively talked the other day about a little house in Queen Craig which is just like one city over from us and we're like you know that would be a lot easier and um, we could still make it really beautiful and um, maybe turn it into what we wanted long term but we just both decided and like remembered and came to the conclusion that no like us doing this us doing something a little more than um just moving to the next city is the kind of thing that's going to shape our kids into i don't know into just being more of themselves like and same with levi and i it's just these kind of experiences that are um getting me really excited to do this whole trip that we have planned and everything because I just really feel like, like we've had a couple of people be like, well, I mean, your kids aren't gonna remember it much. This is more for you guys, right? And for me, it's not because I feel like these are the experiences that are gonna shape our kids. Like our kids are going to be different people because we pushed our family outside of its comfort zone um, right now. So, really excited really glad that we did that it was just kind of a good little insight into um what the next couple months are going to look like for us so thanks for coming along i'm going to be in recovery mode all day here <laughs> also just as a side note this is a quarantine self chop don't judge too harshly it's not even in the least but it's okay Anyways, thanks for coming along, um, thanks for being here, and thanks for supporting us on our journey. Your comments have all been so sweet and supportive and um, excited for us, which we don't get a lot of from our like inner circle, I think just because everybody's um, sad to see us go, I guess. But um, really appreciate it, really grateful for this community, and we will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for being here, have a good week.